Hi, I'm Claudio. Welcome to my channel. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for the feedback of the last video about the Piston 32 in a really few days. It had a lot of views. Uh, it was really a great satisfaction for me. Uh, doing a thing like this that I love to do. Uh, just showing the people uh, some cool things. By the way, in, uh, this video is going to be about another thing. Another cool add-on for the Amiga. I brief, I briefly talked uh, about it uh, on the last video. Um, this one is called a three hundred and fourteen uh, CP. Uh, this is an add-on module for the clockboard enabled enabled Amiga Amigas. Uh, it um, permits to do a lot of cool things. Uh, he, there is a version of this mod that it's not it's uh, already released but it's not available because of the chip shortage stuff uh, the um, chip that it uses it's a max 10 it's it's like uh, uh, unobtainable <laughs> so the only one you can build right now uh, it's the a314 CP it's the clock port version because the one that one for the 500 is for the expansion bay uh, it sits on the uh, RAM expansion module bay. but this is not the one I we will talk about we will talk about I said uh, about the <sighs> the clock port version um, I'm just going to show you what it can do. We're going to uh, uh, build it before flash it, and uh, then I'll install it on the Amiga, and uh, I'll show you uh, what you can actually do away. So let's go check it out on the Amiga. Hey, here we are. This is the little A. 314 CP, the clock board version of the A314. Um, I have to solder the connector. The connector has to be soldered on this side. I don't have the actual right connector, so I'm gonna repurpose this um, ROM socket, cutting it and just inserting it in this way. And the other side right there so I'll be able to use it so just wait a second I'll grab my solder and I'll solder it up and before soldering I show you the result of the cutting of the socket connector I know this is not ideal but this is what I got home and it's the only thing I can do to make it working by the way this is going to fit in here and this other one will fit in here it's not perfect but it's going to do its job we'll see so the connector is soldered and we can now plug the PI Let's keep attention about the connector because mm, this board was made to sandwich the PI on top of it and uh, not to use a connector. So um, the um, GPIO pins must be uh, read on pointing on the other side of the board. By the way, let's install it and try it. So here we are again, uh, the Amiga. It's. Uh, taken apart has been taken apart uh, one thing that you should check on your Amiga is that your clock port connector should be connected to the right side if it's connected to the left side it's not going to work because that port that mm, I haven't got any power so you should fix your Amiga um, installing the socket in the right position by the way this is the card I got the socket in the right position Let's just align it with the pins. Press. And 
there it is it's now installed uh, we're going to do a little test fit with the keyboard to see if the Amiga can be close it just a quick test oh yeah it seems we have a lot of space but I'm going to put something on the top of the PI just to prevent it from touching the metal and shorting anything. So here we are. First part, it's done. Now while waiting for the um, files to download to flash the card, I decided to uh, clip a little more pins. So it's a little shorter now. It's more cleaner. Let's wait. <clears throat> I had an issue while trying to use the first command to check the card uh, the card wasn't recognized so I decided to take a look and uh, the LED on the A314 CP was lighting but not the one on the PI so I uh, removed and reinserted the SD card and now as you can see when I boot the machine I got the LED from the A314 CP it's the one down there and one from the PI uh, too so it's putting it should be solved okay the A314 CP it's installed I'm sorry for this cable my phone may run out of battery so I connect it but here we are so um, the first thing that you can do, uh, you have to power your computer. In this case, we're powering three computers. We're powering the Amiga, we're powering the uh, Raspberry Pi on the P-Storm, we're powering the Raspberry Pi on the uh, A314 CP. So, by the way, this is technical details. We're powering one computer, we're powering the Amiga, and boom, here we are. What can we do? Okay, the first thing and the easiest and coolest thing you can do it's um, mounting uh, the PI disk. What's the P? What's a PI disk? A PI zero. PI zero. It's a folder inside the, the Raspberry on the A3 uh, 314 uh, CP, and that it's connected uh, uh, at, uh, even as a, an FTP server. It's configured uh, as an FTP server, so I can connect my PC. Uh, to the FTP server and download and upload files uh, but we're going to do this mount PI0 we press enter and boom we have the PI disk this is a folder of the computer and from here uh, we can see the files already in this there's a JPEG file um, we can transfer file um, let's transfer another image just to test I grab another cool picture of this one and we're going to put it here it's copying boom we have our image preserved on our uh, A314 CP folder and we can access it as I said before from the PC. Uh, same thing, I want uh, a beautiful wallpaper. I can go on my PC, do the Photoshop stuff, blah 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 blah, then send it to, uh, to here. Then I will drag the file, copy wherever I want, and I will have it back. And this is the uh, the first thing you can do with uh, the A314 CP. It's really cool. Uh, you can do this stuff even without a P storm. Uh, this is not the case that I'm using it uh, with a piston, but this board can do this stuff even on a different uh, accelerator or stock machine or whatever you want. It's just a, a device that will show on the Amiga. So, what other thing we can do? We can have on, uh, online, we can get online, we can have connectivity. So, with Pedro Cocteau House on. Uh, uh, Cafe Noas utility we can get online with it this time without any PC MCI clip box and anything. We just click bank connect and we are online. Uh, the speed is really good. It's not the fastest thing you can get, but it does uh, the job. I'm really far from from the connection. I'm sitting outside. 
this tavern it's outside the house but you can see uh you can just use it to uh, do whatever you want you're not going to download the latest call of duty here you're not going to download uh, hundreds of terabytes of data uh, but you'll be able to uh to use your computer online uh, without any accessory I am um, just as a quick test uh, I do my usual um, uh, this is the result of the download speed uh, let's keep on for the upload speed it's a little bit faster on upload um, let's check let's wait a second that the uh, the test ends so it doesn't slow down the connection I just want to be sure to show you the real deal uh, our radio is ready bang bang ok, we're not going to wait, no, it's done so that's the upload and download speed we can close this and let's open an internet radio to check yes it's working let me raise the volume a bit yes it's very stable up to 330 kilobyte it's okay okay it's working so we even so internet Another really great thing that you can do with this it, It's a, a, ch a, a chessing and uh, using the shell of the Linux terminal uh, directly from the Amiga uh, CLI Okay, let's open a CLI window oh, We just have to type PI Bang Oh, era This is um, uh, this is a shell uh, uh, of the PI running inside the CLI of the Amiga. We can do simple things uh, or crazy things. We can do whatever we want to this. But I'm just going to show you a quick host name. Bang. And this is the P address of the Raspberry PI. And bang. And then we can do exit. And uh, here we are, back on the Amiga site. We can close this. And this is the other thing you can do. But it's, there is a, a really crazy thing that you can do. So we mount the P disk. We are online. Uh, we check the shell, the a command. Uh, this is a cool thing. It's a really cool thing. Uh, there is this application PrintVNC, it's a VNC client. There is actually a VNC server set it up on that Raspberry Pi, and you can access it here. I'm gonna put my super secret password Raspberry. Okay, I'm going to click connect. It's bang bang. Here we have, oh, it's a spoiler right there. Okay, by the way, this is the um, Linux desktop running uh, inside the Amiga. Oh, that's, that's a little big. Okay, from here we, you can do all your Linux uh, things. Uh, you can even open some application like, I don't know, Office. You can do whatever you want with Linux so you're going to be able to use your uh, machine dually you are you love uh, your Linux system and your Amiga one you can even put this on full screen Boom. this is all Linux uh, you can minimize it iconize it it's, it's this icon and open it up back and uh, full, boom, full screen small screen and we can do uh, even this. This is crazy. <laughs> By the way, 
another cool thing that I uh, will show you. I can't show you fully, but I will show you <laughs> how does it work. You just have to go to the shell here. Uh, you can type Spotify, the press center. Then after you do this, uh, your uh, your Amiga will be available as a device from uh, Spotify, so you can send music from your phone to your Amiga and listen it to the glorious Polar chip. Uh, you can have Spotify uh, sending music to the Amiga. This is thanks to another thing of the A314 CP, that's the PIA audio. Uh, this uh, permits you not only to do Spotify, but you can even uh, play MP3s uh, on a system like this. It's not um, necessary to do that. You can do that with Peace Storm, but um, you can listen to MP3s to, on, on Amigas that don't have any Peace Storm without uh, clogging the uh, GPU. So this is what I wanted to show you so this is what I wanted to show you about the A314 CP uh, this project is great um, it's, uh, it's just the beginning of what it can do uh, the possibilities are almost endless uh, this is not uh, everything it can do right now just quick uh, quick demo uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed staying with me with the, the, in this other minutes um, I hope you liked the video I hope again <laughs> not to have been boring and uh, thanks again for watching me doing weird, st weird stuff <laughs> thanks again uh, if you like this video, I'll be happy if you put a thumbs up and share it with your Migi companions and friends. The Amiga community is great. I met a lot of great people from all over the world. Can't stop to say thanks to my friend Michael. <laughs> Helped me a lot of configuring everything. Uh, the first time is not the simplest. But once you configure it, you'll be ready to go to do all this good stuff, uh, keeping the Amiga love going. So, Amiga forever. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye. Great night. Great night. Night. Or day. Here it's night. Bye. See ya.